How did Disney princesses <laughs> never age? Air they fire. Just want to be treated normal. If grandma and dad got in a street fight, who's going to win? <laughs> grandma. grandma. My name is Amber and welcome to the kitchen. And welcome to Crispy King Cakes and Conversations. I'm excited to introduce to you my friend Amber. Amber is gonna show us how to run the kitchen today. My name is Amber, I'm from Rome, Georgia, and today we're gonna be making a aerialite seashell. Here we go, Amber, we are going, Amber's gonna, <laughs> Sorry, I had to get that out. What do you like to do a little frustrating? Uh, sleep. So if you fall asleep during the show, I should know what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> And if you've fallen asleep at home, don't tell me. I worked at Pizza Hut. I prepped the dough and prepped the sauces and all the other good stuff. Why Little Mermaid? Because she was my favorite princess growing up. Still? Yep, still my favorite. Who, who runs a close second? Pocahontas. Pocahontas. Yeah, she was in Frozen, right? No. <laughs> grab those marshmallows, toss them in, and if you've ever watched Cakes and Conversations, you know the key to great Rice Krispie treats is to a mix. mix it, appreciate mix the butter, get after it. You know how to do this. You've been watching. She goes, hey, I know how to do it, but I'm going to do it with one hand. Watch me. I'm going to hold the bowl here. And boom. It's like a dance move. If I were to describe you to somebody, what three words should I use to describe you? Caring, kind, and sweet. What are the next three words? Funny, amazing, and wonderful. And the next three? <laughs> um, gentle, um, supportive, and generous. We're gonna make a solid batch and then we're going to bring in some of Ariel's colors later on as we make the shell. Do you usually measure when you cook in the kitchen? Yes, I do. All right, Amber, what kind of things do you cook in your kitchen? Uh, pancakes, pies, steaks, hamburgers, basically almost about anything. If you are to open a restaurant called Amber's, what would be the best item on the menu? Tacos. How come when I said, what do you cook, you didn't even mention tacos? <laughs> it's like a super. I've secret. had basically almost about anything. <laughs> <laughs> when you're the cook in the kitchen, you get to do this in the kitchen. Especially when you're cooking for yourself. When you're cooking for other people, I might not let it drip out my mouth. <laughs> what are things you like to do for fun? Uh, playing board games, um, playing on my phone, <laughs> and uh, just talking to some friends. If you like this video, please uh, hit that like button and subscribe to the Crispy Kings website. Just hit the subscribe button yeah. below. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's keep it going. We're gonna go another two tablespoons of butter. Okay, if like one song came on right now and it'd be your total jam song, like you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna break it down and show my best dance moves. What song is that? Thunder from by Imagine Dragons. How do you dance to that song? <laughs> Cupid Shuffle or Cha Cha Slide? Which do you like better? The Cupid Shuffle. Chicken Dance or Macarena? Macarena. Steak or a hamburger? Hamburger. Soft granola bar or chewy granola bar? Chewy. Crunchy bacon or soft bacon? Crunchy bacon. Pancake or waffle? Pancake. Movies or Netflix? Netflix. Elsa or Anna? Elsa. Which dwarf is your favorite? Dopey. Which dwarf do I remind you of? Happy. Amber, what TV show you been watching lately? Uh, Moana on DVD. <laughs> Moana. What's that song she sings? I want to go across the water. Nobody lets me go. They, they all oh, look over uh, my shoulder. My parents how, are overbearing. How, they don't let me do anything. <laughs> What's it called? How far I'll go or something like that. Listen, she's got a rebellious spirit, that Moana. <laughs> a little rebellious spirit. 
Did it work out in the end for the town? Yes. Yes, it did. Is that chicken weird? Yeah. Yeah, you know he is. Did she disrespect mom and dad a little bit? Yeah. yeah. And was grandma going to whip her tail? No. Oh, listen. Her grandma supported her. Yeah, she did because grandma's got a touch of crazy. But I'll tell you right now, <laughs> if grandma and dad got in a street fight, who's going to win? <laughs> grandma. grandma. We need to get red on every marshmallow so that when we mix it in, she don't have any white coming in on her hair because that's the thing about Ariel. She's never aged. No. <laughs> She's like got that ocean cream she puts on her face and her hair. It's like never ages. How is but, How do Disney princesses <laughs> never age? Don't know. Name one who has. <laughs> Can't do it, Amber. <laughs> we want to welcome you to the King's Games. Right now we're going King's Games Disney princess style. We're going to go back and forth and see who can name a Disney princess. The first person to tap out and not name one is the loser. The winner wins the King's Games. Ooh, okay. How you feel about that? Oh, let's go. All right. Ladies first. Ariel. Cinderella. Snow White. And the dwarfs. <laughs> Anna. Elsa. Oh, you go, okay. Olaf. He's not a princess. Oh, I mean, uh, <laughs> um, uh -huh. Pocahontas. Rapunzel. Good at this. Oh, Bell. Oh yeah. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Let's see. Oh. Ooh, let's see here. Oh. All right. right. Who else do we got? Oh my Don't God. Ask. Don't ask me. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Like oh. Oh. Merida. Never heard of oh, Bray. Yeah. I don't even know if she had a first name. Um. Uh, um. Um, we already said Cinderella, so why? Rapunzel, you put the harness. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's her name? Oh, no. Princess and the Frog. Move on. That ain't her. I know Princess and the Frog. <laughs> oh, you answered it with Mulan? <laughs> yeah, I went with Mulan. <laughs> All right, that's all I got. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for King's Games winner, Amber! <laughs> Woo! I'll be hanging out with the dwarfs back here. <laughs> all right, last color. Let's throw in the last batch of marshmallows, and you know how this works. Yeah. All right, what princesses did I miss? I feel like there's a few more. There was Aquata. Go ahead and mix those up. Adela. Ad Adela's Alana. the princess? I had no idea she because she's rolling in the deep. <laughs> That's why. I That's probably one of your favorite dance songs too. This is fine. Starting in the. Fire. What's it starting? In what? Starting there in the they fire. Starting in my heart. Preaching the. Something. Something. I was like, do you make up words of songs? Because I do. All no, the time. that's the first. She's making up words, and I make up words all the time. <laughs> we know there's two types of people in the world. There's a one type of person who knows every word to every song. Yep. And then there's people like me who, <laughs> who make up their own words. So comment below, let us know, are you that type of person who knows every song? And if so, tell us how you do that because I don't get that. Or are you more like us and you just feel like, hey, whatever you hear. And then there's, pe there's people that do parodies, which I'm guessing that's the same thing. That kind of make up their own words, like and, rewrite a song? Well, it's, it'll be the same as the song, but in different words, yeah. My family over quarantine actually made a parody to Gangsta's Paradise. Really? Oh, quarantine Paradise. Now that these marshmallows are good to go, now that we know uh, that you can watch a parody, and now that we know that Amber makes up songs, we're gonna make up <laughs> the marshmallows. What do your friendships look like? I'm just basically having to talk to them on the phone because I don't really get to go out much unless we're having to go do stuff that involves with money, <laughs> like the bills and stuff. You're paying those? Yeah. If I gave you a million dollars today, what would you spend it on? I wouldn't spend it on myself. I would actually give it to homeless people or a charity. Well, there are a lot of people that are, well, a lot of Teenagers, kids, adults that are going through cancer, and I would want to help them out instead of myself because I'm, 
I don't, I don't really need it. I'd rather be poor than to have that much money. <laughs> if you could do anything, any job in the future, what job do you want it to be? Uh, that's a hard one. In all honesty, because I like a lot of things. I'd probably say interpreting. Okay, so you want to do maybe some sign language and interpreting? Yeah. Tell me what you spend most of your days doing. Taking care of my mama and cleaning the house. What does that look like? <laughs> it's busy. Definitely busy. Because uh, I'm having to take everything slow. Because I'm basically doing it all by myself. What's it like to be a caregiver? Uh, sometimes it's difficult um, getting her medicines prepared and uh, feeding her. Well, she can feed herself, but you know, cooking and making sure she's eating properly and checking her blood pressure and all that good stuff. And it's sometimes difficult, but I, I, I love doing it. Tell me why you love doing it. Because she's my mama and she deserves better. Gotta respect your parents. <laughs> what was high school like for you? It was all right. Uh, I was a shy kid. I only knew people, uh, I only knew people that were, um, that had disabilities like me. I didn't really talk to many uh, other people because uh, I was a shy person and didn't know how to uh, communicate with them because I was afraid to mess up and all that.